r slash ask reddit. What are some very creepy facts? Female mummies in ancient Egypt were always more decomposed than their male counterparts. They discovered that this was because male bodies were embalmed a lot sooner than female bodies. Female bodies were kept at the family home until they started to decompose in order to avoid necrophilia at the embalmers. Well, that escalated quickly. After getting stung by a cone snail, you don't feel the sting for a little bit. There is no anti-venin, and it can be lethal. Treatment is basically keeping the victim alive until the venom wears off. Till there are killer snail. Watch out, bitch. Edit. Suff, dudes. One reason that crows and ravens are associated with death is because they would often follow armies as they march to battle. Being both carry-on birds and extremely intelligent, they realized that a large group of armed men marching on one direction meant that there would be a tasty meal of corpses to eat soon afterward. That's actually pretty neat. I'd like to subscribe to Crow Facts, thanks. Blobfish in its natural habitat looks like a normal fish, but it lives so deep underwater that it doesn't use a normal gas bladder to keep itself balanced. Instead, it has a spongy skin that is slightly less dense than water, which becomes damaged and bloated when fishermen bring it up too quickly. It's not really the ugliest fish. It has just experienced something worse than one of us being thrown into outer space. Between sea level and space, there's one atmospheric pressure of difference. Between sea level and 2,000 feet underwater, their upper limit, there's 60 atmospheres of difference. Space aliens. Pick up humans and violently yank them into space. Humans. Explode. Space aliens. <laughs> Look at their stupid faces. When you happen to be murdered, there is only an about 40% chance that your murderer will be found and punished. Edit. A lot of people are asking which country I'm referring to. This is a worldwide approximation. There are obviously countries with higher percentages of solved murder cases but also some with even lower. For example, in the US there is a 40% chance to get away with murder, in Mexico, 90% to get away with it. Organized crime, the overall amount of crimes in that area and war plays a huge role in this. Purely anecdotal, but my murderer was caught every time it happened to me. If you begin to display symptoms of rabies, you will go crazy and die. There's no cure. Your brain will slowly melt until you're dead. The second you get bitten by anything, you should literally speed to the hospital. Crocodiles can gallop, like a horse. I don't like knowing this, so I am cursing you people with this knowledge as well. Fortunately, alligators cannot. So that's how you tell them apart. Yeah, but now I'm confused how to tell a horse and crocodile apart. Serial killer Richard Chase took any unlocked door as an invitation to come inside. In the US. If someone is kid enapped and not found within about a day, then there is a 97% chance the kid enapped person is dead. Wow, I must be special because the kids I've got are still alive. Men who are hanged get a death erection, known as rigor erectus. Pretty awkward for the family, I assume. This is the one time I'd advocate using hung instead of hang. They said you were hung, and they were right. There's a parasite that enters a fish's mouth, eats the tongue, and replaces itself as the fish's new tongue. As a fish, there isn't a cure and it sucks. I keep saying stuff I don't mean to say. Like talking head. A black mamba is the fastest snake which can slither at a speed of 12.5 miles an hour. 20 cam slash hair. They have neurotoxins which are fast acting. The venom shuts down the nervous system and paralyses the victim. Its venom is able to kill 10 people, and it repeatedly bites. To add on to this, there is an almost 100% kill rate and can kill in 20 minutes. Tarantulas can swim. I'm afraid to Google this. I just did. Looked pretty cool. Fucker was huge. If you live to age 70, you will have shed around 105 pounds of skin. Edit. Because most seem confused. I mean, over time, not all at once. That would be terrible. Cool. At least there's one thing to look forward to when I'm 70. Can't wait to freak everyone out when it happens. When creating the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland, they couldn't create skeletons that looked realistic enough, 
so they used real human skeletons. They've since removed all of them except one. The skull that's over the bed is real. My favorite, right? Ducks become cannibals due to boredom, of all effing reasons. They can only be stopped by cutting off that cutting off there. Don't F with ducks. Quack is whack. It was once discovered that a fir tree was growing inside a human body. Artyom Sidorkin went to the doctor suspecting something wrong with his lungs. The doctors thought they were dealing with a tumor, but turns out he had inhaled a fir tree seed, which had sprouted and had begun growing in his lungs. It. Wow, so Grey's Anatomy is a popular show. I'm sure this was the inspiration for that episode. He also had a watermelon and a gum tree in there. He had his belly button stapled shut cuz he unknotted it as a kid. Cockroaches have been recorded eating human flesh, both living and dead, as well as fingernails, eyelashes, feet, and hands. The American cockroach and German cockroach are more likely to bite humans than other species. Pretty sure Australian cockroaches do something equally creepy, but as an Australian who plans to sleep at some point in the future, I'm not going to Google it. There are many studies that show they don't like human contact and will clean themselves rigorously if they touch us. Our skin is very oily and can suffocate the breathing holes in their carapace. So we are the creepy fact to cockroaches. Nice. There was a speech made for Apollo 11 if they were to die on the moon. Side fact, if it were to happen, people would look up at the moon knowing that. That crew died there and their bodies would rest there till the end of time. Not forgetting that the ocean is somewhat like this. Many people died there too, at the very depths of the sea. Also, their bodies would not have decomposed because the moon has no oxygen. Instead, they would become mummies. Ancient Egyptians hate him. It's quite common after you die to burp a lot as you have more gas build up. Dead bodies can also sit up on their own sometimes. God, I hate sit ups now. You're telling me I have to do them even after I die? Most people smell different when they're awake. That's my favorite thing to whisper. Mount Everest is covered in frozen corpses because removing them is very unsafe and time consuming. They're easily viewed from the climbing routes and some are used as trail markers. Turn at green boots. I'm simultaneously impressed and disturbed at the fact that I know exactly who you're talking about. Imagine being totally aware of someone preforming CPR but you physically can't move or respond. Well, that's what happens when you get bitten by a blue-ringed octopus. You have approximately six minutes between being bitten and someone starting CPR to keep your heart and lungs functioning to ensure you survive, all whilst being totally aware of what is happening to you. Neurotoxins are fun. The really creepy thing about this is one story of a guy who got stung, got CPR performed on him and survived, but went blind because he was lying on his back. Eyes open, unable to blink because of the paralysis staring into the sun. Imagine lying there, unable to move, unable to communicate. Imagine lying there, unable to move, unable to communicate. The sun slowly burning out your eyes and you can't shut them. No, I don't think I will. There are upwards of 300 active serial killers in the world. The part that's insane to me is that people like Beat Cack and Willie Picton were caught post-2000 but were active for a long time, decades prior. To me, that means there have to be some people out there today that have a high body count and haven't been caught yet. Hearing is the last thing to go after you die. You just might hear the paramedics and firefighters call off's PR. God, I think this is the worst one so far. A single tiger has killed over 436 people in India. How many has a married tiger killed? Human brains, when they dry out, smell like cat piss. That stinky ammonia smell. Worked in an ear for 17 years in CT. Had a gunshot to the head come in and a chunk fell onto my shoe and didn't notice. While driving home was like, aren't you to did my cat piss in the car or something? Yes, went to take my shoes off and there it was. Edit for all you people with morbid curiosity. Fresh brains look like cream cheese mixed with strawberry jam. Edit too. No. They died, trans life harvested organs. I once knelt next to the interstate, looking into a guy's open skull for 45 minutes, waiting for an ambulance to show up. I didn't notice a smell. His teeth scattered around my knees were what really stuck with me.
I... I dreamed I was wading through teeth for months. I surprisingly have very little medical dreams. One of the first-year residents said they had a dream they were chewing gum during surgery, then it dropped out their mouth, and they couldn't find it and thought it dropped into the abdomen cavity. <sighs> Sense of impending dooms is an actual symptom that often precedes your death, usually in cases of heart attack. Very creepy for some of us that suffer from anxiety and panic attacks to begin with. Both share that symptom. Edit. As many of you are pointing out, yes, I use preclude incorrectly. There's a spider that gives you a three long boner before you die from its bite. Edit. The boner it gives you is very painful. If it bites you, you might as well de-slap it into next week. So I need to pretend I'm a masturbating elephant. Ken has had a pre-recorded broadcast from the 90s, which they will premiere during the end of the world. They used real corpses in the 1982 film Poltergeist for the ending pool scene. The actress did not know until after the scene was filmed. Not just poltergeist, but up until the last few decades, actual skeletons and bodies were used in Hollywood productions simply because it was cheaper than hiring prop guys to do it. Any old movie you watch, chances are the skeletons are real because you could saunter into any old medical supply store and buy a whole disused skeleton from a university medical department for a reasonable price. Some species of spiderlings eat their mothers alive. Can confirm, I ate my mother. The astronauts aboard the space shuttle Challenger most likely didn't die until they hit the water miles below the initial explosion. There are more creatures in your mouth than there are people on Earth. I once read that you should play dead if a bear attacks you, unless they start licking your wounds because that means they plan to eat you. That still haunts me to this day. It... If it helps, I'm pretty sure I was reading about grizzly bears at the time during one of my fevered... If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, grizzly. Lie down. If it's black, fight back. If it's brown, grizzly. Lie down. You left out the best part. If it's white, good night. Seriously, polar bears have been known to stalk humans and surround off-grid people's structures and wait them out.